guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did this beautiful classic cat eye and red lip full face makeup look for you guys and I really love it. It's honestly super simple to achieve. I kept everything pretty simple and basic. The only thing of course is the cat eye which I know can be super intimidating for some people but honestly the way I do it I tried to make it really simple and straightforward so I hope I kind of made it more simple for you guys and helped you kind of create a cat eye in a more simple way and honestly I do this cat eye like this all the time. It's like my way to do it very quick and efficiently and it comes out great pretty much every single time. So if you guys wanna see how I got this full face makeup look with this beautiful cat eye and bright red lip that's perfect for the holidays, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna get right into this look. So I do already have my eyebrows done and I do have a video on my channel where I have my full tutorial. So I will link that in the description box for you guys. But first I'm gonna start by priming my face with this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that onto clean hands and I'm just gonna rub that in the middle area where I have the most pores. So that is like right between like my nose. So I'm just gonna rub that just on the T-zone area where I have the most pores. And guys, I have a new camera, so bear with me. I hope you guys like this new camera. I think the quality is better and I'm really excited to create some better content for you guys. Okay, so now that I have my face primed, I'm gonna go in with this foundation. This is from Sephora. I'm pretty sure that they still have it online. I actually got this at my winners and it was like $5.99, which was an amazing deal. And I love this foundation. It's like a full coverage, like matte foundation. And it's really, really good. So I believe that they still do have it online. Or I don't know if they like redid the packaging. That's why that I found it at my winners. But I really love this foundation. So this is the Sephora full coverage long lasting foundation in the shade 22 natural. And this foundation is great also because it says that it is made in Italy. So for the price guys, honestly, check out your home sense or check out your winners or your Marshalls. You can definitely find such great affordable makeup there. So I'm just gonna take some of this onto this Hank and Henry little beauty sponge here and it's dampened with water. I made sure I cleaned it. It is a bit stained but I'm just gonna take some of this foundation and just pounce it all over my face. And this is really full coverage, so a little bit goes a long way. I am gonna just place some onto my eyelids just to kind of blank everything out and create a nice base. Okay, so now going into some concealer, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers and just concealers in general, so I really love it. And this is in the shade called Medium Sand and I'm just gonna place that on my under eyes and blend that in with that same beauty sponge. So now to set the under eyes, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the one in Translucent and I really like this under eye setting powder. It's really great, but we don't need too much because that concealer is definitely more on the matte side. So I'm just gonna lightly use a little powder puff and place just a little bit on the under eyes. We don't need too much. And I like to put some just between my nose too and my lap lines. But since my foundation is more on the matte side, I'm not gonna set my foundation with any powder. so. I'm just going to do the under eye area and just a little bit on my eyelids. Okay, so now we're going to want to add some color into the face. So I still have that under eye setting powder just baking a little bit and then we're going to wipe it off after. But first I'm going to bronze my face with this NARS bronzing powder. This is the NARS Paradise Found bronzing powder and I really, really love this bronzer. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe JH02 brush and bronze away. to do the top of my forehead just kind of around the areas that I want some like definition so a little bit under the chin obviously the cheekbones and my nose okay so I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop E2 blending brush and I'm just gonna place some of that bronzer on my eyes here just in the crease because since we're doing a simple cat eye I just want to kind of define the crease just a little bit I'm just gonna highlight my nose with some of that concealer that we use from e.l.f. with this little Morphe M515 brush. So I like to place a little bit of concealer on the brush first. And then I just like to take some of that concealer and place it on the tip of my nose and along the bridge. 
Okay, so since I am doing a cat eye, I want to keep my cheeks a little bit more on the neutral side. So I really love this specific blush for that. This is the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade called Seashells. And it is like the perfect like bronzy kind of like pinky taupe shade. And it's really beautiful when you're doing a red lip because it's very neutral. So I'm just going to go in with this Morphe JH06 brush and pounce that on my cheeks. blush because it does have a little bit of like a satin almost like shine to it so it makes your cheeks glow in like the most beautiful way so now i'm just gonna highlight with this gorgeous highlighter from anastasia beverly hills this is the omrezi highlighter and i'm going to use this ColourPop f33 brush i always like to highlight my cupids a little bit my chin also above my brows and I'm gonna finish highlighting my nose just where we place that concealer. I'm gonna place a little bit of that powder highlight. And I'm also gonna place some on the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in for the wing liner just so you can really see how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Creme Gel color. This is their black one in the shade called Swerve. So I really like that Zoeva 317 wing liner brush because it's really nice and thin. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that product onto this brush and make sure that it's nice and evenly distributed. And I always like to start on the outer corner. Just create that line. And then I create like a triangle effect. So I connect the line like that. As you can see, we have like a little triangle there. Then you just pretty much fill it in. And it's always good to have a wet wipe here just to kind of clean the brush as we go because you really always want it to stay nice and thin and clean. As you can see, that was pretty simple. You're basically just creating a triangle and then filling in the rest of the line and just make sure that your brush tip is always nice and clean and sharp because that's very important. Okay guys, so you saw that that wing liner was much more simple than it appears to be. I tried to make it as easy as I possibly could to show you guys and that is honestly what I do for my wing liner. So now just to complete the look, I'm gonna add a little bit of that same bronzer on with this small Morphe M507 brush and I'm just gonna smoke that a little bit on the lower lash line. waterline I'm going to use this ColourPop creme gel liner this is in the shade called honey dude and it is just their nude liner and I love their creme gel liner so I'm just going to place that on the waterline okay now for some mascara I'm going to use this NARS climax mascara and I'm just going to place that on the top and bottom lashes Now, of course, this part is optional, but I love me a good pair of false lashes. So I'm gonna put on these lashes that I got from eBay and I will link them in the description box for you guys. They are really great and they're so cheap. You just have to wait like a month for them to come, but I really love these lashes. Okay guys, so while the lash glue is drying, let's move on to the lips. So I love a good bright red lip, so I'm really excited to do one today because I think that bright red lips look really, really great with a nice cat eye because it's like simple enough of an eye look, but you still get like that like smultry cat eye effect with the red lip. And I just think it's such a classic makeup combo. So first I'm going to line my lips, of course, with this ColourPop lippy pencil. I definitely love a good lip liner. I know that some people kind of like skip on the lip liners, but I can never skip on lip liner. And I just think it totally makes such a difference in the look and just keeps everything nice and clean and together so I love a good lip liner and the ColourPop ones are amazing so I'm going to use this lip liner in the shade called hot cakes and it is a really nice like deep red because it's gonna be a little darker than the actual liquid lip that I'm going to use so I kind of like to do like that ombre effect just very subtly I'm just gonna start lining my lips with that lip pencil Okay, 
so I'm just gonna line them. I'm not gonna fill it in or anything because I'm going to use a liquid lip for the rest of the lip. And for that, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful Pixie by Petra liquid lipstick in the shade called Orange Red. And it is like such a beautiful bright orange red as it says. So, so I'm just gonna fill in the rest of my lips with that beautiful liquid lip. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I really love this classic cat eye and red lip look. I think it is so timeless and I've always wanted to do one on my channel, so I'm really happy that I did it for you guys. So I really do think that the cat eye came out really nice. As you guys saw, it was pretty simple to recreate. I know that cat eyes can be really intimidating and they can sometimes just go in like crazy directions if you do like the wing too long and just start making it too thick. But honestly, it's not that hard to achieve. You just need a little bit of practice and soon you will be doing it like it's nothing because I used to do cat eyes all the time in the past. I kind of stopped doing them, but I really love the way they look, especially paired with this bright red lip. I think it looks so classic and timeless. So if you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.